what are the chances that if I pick a blue M&M out of this bowl, that it's also over 1.8 grams. Today we're talking about conditional probability or the probability that a second event occurs when we already know a first event has occurred. Welcome, I'm Jen. Conditional probability tells us the probability of an event A happening when we already know that an event B has occurred. We write this as the probability of A given B and in many cases, we'll replace our A and B with our actual events. So in this case, I want to know the probability of the M&M weighing more than 1.8 grams if I know that it's blue already. If you've watched the rest of the videos in this series, you already know we're working with a bowl of M&Ms that has 159 M&Ms in it. But when we talk about conditional probability, we're looking at only the events where event B has happened. So in this case, we don't really care about the 159, we only care about the blue ones in here. And there are 22 total blue M&Ms in the entire bowl, which becomes our new population. I've also previously calculated the probability of randomly selecting an M&M out of this bowl and it being blue. I'll link to that video because that same technique we used, we're going to reuse again on conditional probability. We know from the last video where I talked about joint probability that the probability of an M&M being both blue and over 1.8 grams is 0.0377. To figure out the conditional probability of the weight of the M&M being over 1.8 grams, since we know it's blue, this is the formula that we use. The probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B or the probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of B. The probability of selecting an M&M that's both blue and over 1.8 grams is 0.0377. The probability of selecting a blue M&M, which is our probability of B, is 0.1384. This means that the probability of an M&M weighing over 1.8 grams when we know that it's blue is 0.2724 or 27%. Thanks so much for watching.